praise the Lord, mighty prophet of the Lord. And I'm uh, also Sophie. Well, uh, the Lord Jehovah has spoken with me. Jehovah Elohim. Jehovah Adonai. Jehovah Bara. Jehovah Magen. The Lord God Jehovah Maoz. The Lord my fortress. Jehovah Mashi. The Lord my refuge. Jehovah Sori. The Lord my strength. Jehovah Hashofet. Mishpat, the judge. He has spoken with me about the meeting that is coming up in Namibia. And uh, I see a healing service. There is going to be a healing service in Namibia. Jehovah Rufe is going to bring healing there when he brings me to Namibia. Uh, because I see this particular baby, was, I think it's a crippled leg, it's a right leg. I don't know whether it's both, but I see the calipers on the right leg, seated on the floor. I think this is at, um, this is in the healing service, at the grounds of the healing service. I don't know whether they are white or they are very light-skinned, almost white, but very light-skinned. So the mother is opening the calipers of the legs, and uh, the baby is healed. I see the right leg is having calipers looks like either half cast or very light-skinned uh, or white uh, baby sitting on the floor, and the mother is touching the calipers when the Lord has touched the baby. The mother is also very light-skinned, maybe is white, I do not know. But uh, I see this woman now with the baby. They're very light-skinned people, either they're white or they're in between or, or just light-skinned people. But... Uh, this this mother, the baby, has been touched by the Lord. Has been touched by the Lord, and uh, and the 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 right leg of the baby uh, is crippled, so it's on metal calipers. And I see now the Lord touching the leg of the baby, and the mother begins to open the calipers of the baby. So it's a very amazing time we are living in. The Lord is saying it's going to bring tremendous healing in uh, Namibia. Um, he has also shown me this night that uh, there will be a lot of healing that will take place in the healing service in Namibia. He's going to bring a revival there uh, and visit his people and bring remission from disease and help people that hospitals that declared cannot be healed but the, the Lord is doing this, Jehovah El Gibor, the mighty God, is doing this, Jehovah Rohi, my shepherd, is doing this uh, to bring an awakening to them that the end revival is here and uh, the messenger of righteousness has come and that this is the hour at which uh, the church needs to prepare now. The nations need to prepare in repentance and turn away from sin, turn away totally from sin and leave the sexual immorality that you see in the church and turn away from the false prophecies, the false apostolism that you see has plagued the church, the false evangelism, the false doctrines, the love of money that have surpassed the love of Christ where everything is being done at market price in the church, in the house of the Lord my God. And so now um, the Lord Jehovah is asking Namibia to prepare for repentance because I have also seen Namibia, I've seen uh, a lot of need for repentance. He has shown me, as I said recently, the witchcraft, the immorality, the polygamy and everything that is in the land. So the visitation of the land in Namibia, uh, in Vinhok, is going to be one visitation that is aimed at um, awakening the land, awakening the church, awakening the pulpit, the pastors, the shepherds in the land, to the fact that the hour for the end revival is here, 
and the messenger of the end revival is here and that this is the hour now at this moment at which uh, the nation of Namibia is also being given a very golden opportunity to be able to repent and uh, turn away from sin and prepare the way for the glorious coming of the Messiah because time is really over. Time has gone, time has passed. Now events are moving a little faster. Uh, the Messiah is coming. Uh, most recently, January 15th, the year 2017, this year, the Lord took me and he put me up in the heavens here. He put me 20 to 30 meters to the door to heaven. And I saw the church that had been raptured come and enter 20 to 30 meters. Some of them, as they entered, they waved me. I could see them, and I cannot share. But I see, I also, also sometimes see individual people. So they waved very joyfully with their children as they entered, those who had children with them. Um, at the same time, also, um, most recently, the person of the Holy Spirit, God the Holy Spirit was sent to sit before me and he spoke to me these words that I should bring to the ends of the earth that the coming of the Lord is in hand, in hand. And these words are spoken also to the nations of the earth globally. And then after that, he has spoken more he has shown me the person of the Antichrist. He did introduce me to this person the other day. And so the Lord has consistently and persistently spoken about the coming of the Messiah, even most recently, in the most recent conversation about the entry of the church, when, again, the Lord brought me to a place and he was walking, the Father was walking on my right hand side. And then the church was waiting for me somewhere. They were saying, man of God, welcome. They were well-dressed, holy, long dresses for the ladies and uh, very well covered. They had tied their hair. Then uh, when God the Father on my right hand side told me to go and gain contact with the church, when I walked towards the church, and then instant, the church was taken away. When I just gained contact with the church like this, she was taken away into heaven. And I remember they looked for the church globally. They could not find those taken. Then we confirmed that they had really gone to heaven. It was a big, big sign and wonder, a big shock also to the earth. So really, really, the Messiah is coming. And so the nations need to prepare in righteousness. And I trust and believe that the Lord will allow me to reach every nation, Russia, Ukraine, to reach China, Taiwan, to reach Singapore, Malaysia, to also reach Vietnam, South America, Argentina, El Salvador, Bolivia, all the nations, the islands of the earth, across Africa too. But meanwhile, in case that will not be possible, the message is clear. Every nation has heard. That this is the hour for the end revival of righteousness, the revival of holiness, the return to the Lord to prepare the way in their hearts for the glorious coming of the Messiah. And so, even as I come to Namibia, I have seen these healings of these cripples and the lame. I see calipers, I see this mother, she's very light-skinned, and the baby, and she's opening the right leg. I see it's the right leg. It's the right leg and the baby. I don't know if it's a boy or a girl, but seated on the floor. Uh, probably seven months or less. This is seven years, rather, or less. And I see her now open the calipers because of the healing. So this will take place in Namibia, and the message is that the Messiah is coming. Everyone, every single creation, every created being needs to prepare for the glorious coming of the Messiah. The King, the Redeemer that died, for all men, he died for this world. And so, this is he about whom it is written in Scripture, 
that I will send my messenger ahead of you to prepare your way before the day of the coming of the Lord. May those who have ears listen and prepare in holiness and zero tolerance to sin for the glorious coming of the King, the Messiah Shalom. Mm-hmm.